advanced hydrogen. This is my F-150 install. Not my F-150, this belongs to a, uh, a pest control guy named, and he's uh, bought a hydrogen cell off of me. So I installed my dry cell on this one, another one, and you can see it's right back here behind the plate. It's a really cool place to put them. I don't know if you can see it this way. You see the hoses coming in now? I get splashed by the, the reservoir over here. Um, the amperage is real high on this right now. Um, I'm gonna fix that. I don't wanna run it that high. There's no way. But I'm waiting for the electrolyte to stabilize in the cell. I just poured everything in there. It's gonna take a little while for it to kind of stir up. Here's my IFE circuit. It hooks on to the uh, two oxygen sensors. There's four oxygen sensors on a Ford F-150. Actually, on this newer one, I think it's a 2006 or 2007. This one has the oxygen sensors in the catalytic converters and then two of them on the front. I'm gonna tell you right now, on the passenger side of this truck, that oxygen sensor, you will invent cuss words trying to get to the wires to that. So I'm just gonna let you guys know that if you're gonna put an IP on one of these newer um, Ford F-150s, that you're in for a real surprise and that passing your oxygen sensor, just get ready. You might want to get the wiring diagram and find out where the wire is in one of these little deals here and just splice in here. The driver's side's cake. I mean, you're, you're not gonna have any problems getting to that one. So, the cell's down here. Here's my primary bubbler right here. And if I can keep from getting wet, look at that output. Isn't that cool? Wow. That's from a dry cell. That's the hydrogen and water mix. And what happens is when the hydrogen pressure is up and up to push out of the cell, it pushes the water up with it up this pipe, which this goes to the top of the cell. I don't know if you can see it, but here's the cell right here. Okay. This is my secondary bubbler. As you can see, it's not doing anything right now because it's, you know there's no pressure, it's not hooked up. But then this goes into the intake, standard configuration, right there in front of the uh, throttle body, which there's no cables going to it. This is goofy. It's like drive-by wire, I guess. But there's no way to turn the throttle on this thing. It's funny. So anyways, advanced hydrogen, I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, this cell here, I'm gonna run it probably 40 amps. Uh, it should give them four liters a minute. Running the IP, I'm gonna run the IP in an offset voltage of 2.25 millivolts on each one of the O2 sensors. That should show more than a volt um, on the oxygen sensors. That should lean this thing out pretty good. And this is some pretty hefty output from this hydrogen cell. I'm just waiting for this electrolyte to settle out. If it doesn't, I'm gonna take a lot of that electrolyte out and replace it with distilled water and see if I can bring this amperage down to probably about 40, uh, 40 hot, not 53. That's too much. All right, there it is. I'll give you the numbers when we find out what kind of mileage we're getting out of this buggy. But it's gonna be four liters a minute. Eh, I don't know, maybe three and a half or four, you know, around there uh, until the cell breaks in. But uh, that'll do it.